7 tips to help you learn hover fighting. 1. Afterburner on its own will unlock your thrusters. 2. Hitting spacebar while pitching down will help you to keep your thrusters locked downwards, keeping you in hover. 3. Since afterburning in hover moves you in the same direction as spacebar, that is, up, step 2 can be applied while afterburning as well. This means that if you want to stay in hover, any use of afterburner should be accompanied with a pitch down. 4. There are four basic key combinations that affect whether you stay in hover mode. They are as follows. First, as we learned in step 2, spacebar slash afterburner plus pitch down equals thrusters locked. Second, spacebar slash afterburner plus pitch up equals thrusters unlocked. This is mainly used when you need to leave hover very quickly to escape or to chase someone. Afterburner plus pitch up will get you to full speed very quickly. 3. Descend, that is control or C, plus pitch down equals thrusters unlocked. And 4th. Descend plus pitch up equals thrusters locked. These four key combinations can be manipulated in a variety of situations to help you stay in or leave hover. 5. While reloading, you never want to be holding still. A reverse thrust can be an effective way of moving around and also dodging fire while reloading. To do a reverse thrust, pitch up into a leftward or rightward 90 degree roll, then pitch down out of it while applying afterburner. Be sure to avoid applying afterburner until you're pitching down, or else your thrusters will come unlocked. 6. Never underestimate the power of the scout's ca I mean descent. Never underestimate the power of descent. While it doesn't move you very quickly, it does move you in an unexpected direction, which can totally throw off an opponent's lead. Try holding control briefly as you come out of a reverse thrust, then switch to space after a moment. Now try doing it while shooting, repeating the motion. Reverse thrust, descend, space. Reverse thrust, descend, space. This is a basic hover flight style, which is effective enough to let you take on all but the top tier aces. 7. Altitude is important. If you have to look down at an enemy, gravity is going to push you forward until your thrusters come unlocked. Conversely, if you look up at an enemy, the stall will give you complete hover maneuverability while your opponent must fight gravity to maintain hover. Your flight style, similar to my sexual preferences, should always put you on bottom doing less work. Alright, now you should have a pretty good feel for how hover mode works. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, etc, etc. See you guys later.